Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Boone coming at you guys with a brand new thrifting video. What Damn, the fuck son, bro? What like dimension this? have we entered where Boone is uploading thrifting videos again? It's like TV from other dimensions has a somewhat looser feel to it. Yeah, it's got an almost improvisational tone. Okay, so he really haven't paid. Is it really counting up? Is he really having shit? Is he really going nuts? Mm, I'm really, really about it. Knock it out fresh, I'll run the rust. Hit from the back and the nigga drunk. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you want more thrifting videos, you just gotta smash that like button. Like, that's all you gotta do. Maybe let me know in the comments, but really just let me know with that like button because honestly, like, my thrifting videos do garbage. I love making them though. I love thrifting and just showing you guys my finds. If you wanna buy anything that's in this video, I thrift. Look on my website, link in description. I'll probably link it in the comments as well. I'll stop holding you guys up. Let's get in this thrifting action. I hope you all enjoy. I'll see you back here at the end of the video and I'll show off all the finds. Um, let's get into it. <sighs> it is hella early in the morning. I am sitting here looking hella tired, um, <laughs> but I got my espresso, you feel me? We're about to react to my own video like in the middle of my video. I don't know how this is working. This is some new age YouTube shit. It was super busy this day I went. And it's a small thrift, so like I just, I couldn't with the audio. You're gonna hear young John Madden of commentating over thrift clips right now, undefeated, just like me at the thrift. 7.99 though, like, <laughs> uh, miss me with that, bro. It was orange tags half off, but I was just not feeling the undefeated vibe. Shout out undefeated though for those three FTP hoodies. Um, we got the little Nike, I think it's called like Air Hirachis or some stupid shit. I would have never copped those. I just wanted to peep them. The Darth Vader joints, like shout out my Star Wars boys one time. Um, but the whole shoe rack was not looking litty. You guys will see later on, I thrifted these shoes. I actually didn't think they were like at the shoe rack when I first walked by it, but I I guess they were hidden at the very bottom. Right before I leave, you guys will see what shoes I grabbed. They're so fucking hard. But now we just go hit the T-Rack and it's just a ton of nastiness. Like you guys think this thrift is some like blessed shit. I posted a lot of my finds on my story. People were like, bro, holy shit, how are you thrifting all this heat? And I was like, I don't know, bro. You can like come at me, crow, if you want, but I am the mans of this thrift, uh, but not for real. It just takes a lot of looking, you guys. Like I was looking at this thrift for over an hour and you know, we kind of came up a little bit. So um, this rack sucks cock. Let's go to the next area. Um, so this is my first find of the day. It's a little Adidas Schleit work, you know. The little cool logo. And it's got the double-sided mirror logo with the Macklemore Mariners shirt next to it. Shout out Mark McClaymore. But um, the Adidas T with the double-sided, like, <laughs> you feel me? That's a vibe. I had to cop that. Next up, we find this Bad Religion t-shirt. And this is not a reprint, I don't think. But it's a way, like, super, super um, recent. It was like 2015 or some shit like that. And the backside, I wasn't feeling it. So I was like, cut this one off the stewie shirt this i almost grabbed bro like i low-key rock with these kind of like funny cartoon like gangster shirts the do you like fish sticks like shout kanye one time gay fish yo motherfucking gay fish i'm a fish yo um this like I thought it was gonna be a bad thrift day to be honest. Like the, the whole T-Rack was looking kind of like on zero. Like look at this ugly ass, this weird ass polo. Like honestly, this isn't like ugly or nothing, but I've never seen a polo design like this ever. I was super mystified by this one. Oh yeah, here's our first thrift audio of the day. Here's an awful joke by me. That's literally me, gay head. <laughs> so funny, bro. Yo, no. we fucking it up. Fuck up a chip, we fuck it up. Oh my god, I forgot. I got in some dude's way while I was recording. You can hear him like, excuse me? Excuse me? I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, Damn, son. the Where'd hat rack this? was fucking a vibe at the thrift today. I never, ever find hats at this thrift ever, bro. Like I'm telling you, I've gone to this thrift since I was like, like a fucking freshman in high school and I've never found hats here for shit. Today, we doubled up Stussy Polo Bearway. <laughs> I'm busting at him with these fines, bro. Come on, like, who's doing it? Besides Paul Cantu and, like, every other thrifter in the world. Uh, yeah, this this was, was a fire find. No branding. No branding to be found on it, folks. That was a disappointment. If this was my size, I would have probably bought this because I really like this jacket. The inside was super clean. Cool jacket, but no branding, boys, unfortunately. This is another hella crazy, like this is where it started heating up and I started finding a ton of fire. This was almost a cop, super nice, like double layered up, uh, two layer shoddy, you know that's gonna be a check, but it's got the poopy stains all over it. Poop marks. Mm. 
Mm, mm, mm. Almost a cop, bro. That was a cool find, though. I was like hype. The thrift was heating up. You could tell. Ooh, oh, she shot my apes one time. Low key, a nice jacket, but I don't really rock with that camo. I shouldn't have copped these North Face pants to be real with you, but they were. I was feeling them. Like I thought they were fire, so I like, grabbed them, but That's probably not, weren't worth it. Taxing on the Nike, tough. 17 bucks. I know it's vintage, but god damn, bro. 17 bucks for some basic ass Nike jacket. Cut me off with that. Uh, the Reebok looks like a 90s print. No tag, though, but pretty cool. Um, and this is one of my favorite finds. I didn't buy this, but look at that tag. I shipped Windows 2000. That is such a sick tag. I've never seen that. Of course, the jacket's boo boo as hell, but like that tag itself was so fire. Wrong Tommy, though, bro. Come on. Like, we rock with Tommy Bahama on this side, but like it ain't the Hill figure way where the figures are. Shout Tintin, bro. This was crazy. I've never seen a Tintin button up like this. Or I didn't even know Tintin had like merch like this. Scuffed. Yeah, you know me. Uh, fire. Cool ass find, but I didn't actually grab this. They were taxing a little bit on it, and it was like a boy's large or some shit. A little drip check. You know, I hate you myself. Slight like work. Like nice work. studios. Like I fucking hate myself, actually. Nightmare on Elm Street, though. Ooh, gee. Bro, this is one of my most hyped finds. Uh, official merch, like, let's go, bro. I was stoked on this one. I couldn't believe that. I never find horror graphic tees ever. Yeah, <laughs> this is it, Chief. yeah. Shout out my Pokemon fans one time. Prime leak of the wolves like fleece has reminded me of that, but it has poopy stains on it, so we had to miss it. A little poo bear, like talking about poopy. We got the poo bear, but miss me. And then, bro, I have to talk about this. This is way too funny. So the thrift was heating up, like I was saying. Like this was towards the very end of my trip. I was like, all right, I'm just gonna go to the bag aisle right before I leave. I walk over to the bag aisle. Of course, I see this fucking huge Louis bag just sitting there. I was like, are you serious, bro? Like, what is this thrift trip right now? Um, but I didn't really show it too much, but there's glitter and sparkles all over the bag. The bottom side had scuffs, like little white scuff marks all over it. So I didn't grab this bag, unfortunately. I probably should have. I don't know. I didn't want to deal with all the sparkles and shit getting everywhere and on all the other clothes. It was 20 bucks. Like, I just wasn't feeling it, but that is a crazy find. I get some bootleg, like, Louis. Like, I never never find bootleg Louis shit like ever like I found a couple bootleg Gucci items but it's hard to find that shit if you guys didn't know you can do like customs and stuff with that material um, so I would definitely recommend grabbing those if you ever see them at the thrift and then the ass piece of wave yeah, bro ass shout pizza, ass pizza worry. one time you know he made this no doubt <laughs> world's in your pizza. cat's paws that's some poetic shit for my man ass pizza Oh, yo. <laughs> this is so annoying, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You see those Tommy flags on the tongues, though? Like, bro, heavy duty. I could not believe those. Like, like, literally, I was walking to the fucking register. I can't remember if I saw the Tommy flag or if I was like, like the model of the shoe. Kind of looks like a Vans Authentic Pro, whatever those are called. So I saw it, peeped it, seen the Tommy joints all over him, and I was like, oh my god. Crazy fine, um, but now I'm gonna give it back to my cringy self um, the same day like when I got back from the thrift showing you guys the heat I hope you all enjoyed that thrifting action. I'm sorry I had to commentate some parts of the video But um, I hate talking when I'm actually at the thrift because like there's so many other noises going on the thrift store I go to is super small, so it's not like I can really get away from the noises 24 7 there's people like wheeling shit around just making the most noise um, I was so excited today like this is one of the craziest thrift days I've had in quite some time I haven't gone thrifting in months. This is my first day back in so long. It was a great day back. We had the polo bear luck today. The polo bear hat, um, just gorgeous. This is my favorite polo bear hat as well. This is one of like the newer uh, released polo bear hats. They started relaunching these. I didn't even realize till I got home that I had the polo bear hoodie on to match the hat. Like it was just blessed, meant to be. Um, but in the same hat section, and this is a hat section that I never find shit in. I've found like one hat in this thrift store the several years I've gone to it. Um, but we also got the little stussy action crazy, bro. I was so stoked This is the second find of the day for me. Um, I never really see stussy hats Like I actually kind of rock with this as someone that used to really love this brand Like I was pretty stoked on this not as cool of a brand anymore Like stussy did kind of get on their mall core wave too much But I mean they've done supreme babe collabs like this is definitely a very established company in streetwear Like one of the OGs of streetwear for real So I might be keeping this for the personal even but like I said 
said, if you guys want to buy anything from this video, um, check my web store, link in description. Let me try this on real quick. The fit on this hat is so bizarre. Like, I kind of like it, but at the same time, I feel like a dumbass. It's kind of got like a high rise to it up at the top. I kind of feel like an egg wearing this hat. I might have to like readjust it a little bit or something, but I still might be keeping this. I'm not positive yet. A really dope come up though for like the hat section to have both of these in it. That is just like some shit I never find at this thrift I hit up. Next up, this was my first find in the t-shirt section. Um, after already finding that polo bear hat and the stussy hat, I was feeling myself. I walk over the tees and very quickly I found this Adidas logo shirt. And you guys might be like, oh bro, like it's like, like I mean it's an Adidas logo shirt. It's not that crazy. Like I've been seeing them shits at the thrift, but it's got the mirror reverse image on the backside, bro. Like, come on. That is crazy. I don't really see too many Adidas shirts like this. There's more of like an old school vintage um, style they used to do, I think. I'm not positive about that. And this is not a vintage shirt, unfortunately. That would have been insane if it was. But the blue on gray is gorgeous. I really like this light blue they chose. No flaws, like perfect condition on the graphics, as you can see. Very fire come up, especially for like two or three bucks. Like that was a must cop. Super hyped. I found a shit ton of Adidas at the thrift but that was the best shirt I found um, next up was a kind of bizarre shirt like I don't even know how I feel about this one but it was 249 so I just I had to cop it um, the little polo 88 uh, I don't even know what to say about this I've never seen this polo logo before it looks just like a new age polo tag on it or some shit this is definitely like a size small um, so I got again this for super cheap no flaws on the graphic kind of has like a jersey look to the graphic um, and next up is my favorite t-shirt I thrifted um, uh, oh, I was stoked on this bro like I was already having a crazy day at the thrift and then I just saw this sitting there on the rack and I was like it was starting to get to the point where I was like bro I'm just hitting on everything right now the nightmare on Elm Street official merchandise too like I don't know if I'll be able to get a shot of it super small font you can see like the official Warner Bros studios endorsing the shirt or whatever um, insane like such a fire shirt not the coolest nightmare on Elm Street shirt I've ever seen for sure and this is not like a 90s print this is from like the mid 2000s but I'm not tripping mid 2000s is starting to turn into vintage to be honest like in a couple years by 2020 will mid 2000s be considered vintage who knows this shirt's not getting any newer so um, definitely a shirt I'll hold on to I don't know if I'm gonna sell this one I love horror tees like I don't know what it is about them but like horror movie shirts or just any shirt with a horror theme I'm a fan of for the most part so that's why I was so stoked on this find bro and you can't tell me it's not hella clean next up is a cop that I don't know if I'd buy this again now that I know how much it's worth um, we got these North Face ski pants they're pretty crazy I won't lie like they have the double North Face logos on them that's why I copped them where's the other one I can't even find the other all right here we go so there's one North Face logo kind of like around the knee area and then you have another down by like the cankles. These are definitely like some cool ass pants. They even have like this inner lining on them and shit. Uh, so I'll definitely be selling these. They're XL, not my size, unfortunately. Super high quality ski pants from North Face, like a very renowned brand, obviously. Um, if they don't sell on my website, I'll probably sell those on eBay or something for the low, of course. They'll be for cheaper on my website, so pull up on that thing. But this is the last find of the day. You guys did see that Louis bag. I should speak on that real quick, because you're probably waiting for me to talk about it um i did not cop the louis bag because it was bootleg as fuck like it was super replica um it was a pretty good replica i won't lie like it literally had the louis zippers and shit but there was glitter all over this thing like caked in glitter the underside had scuff marks and there wasn't like any areas of super clean fabric a lot of people will buy those bags to do bootleg like customs and shit let me know if it's an l like some of you probably would have bought it off me but i don't know i didn't really want to deal with the glitter mostly such a crazy find bro that was like the last thing I found of the day I thought at least I went over to the bag section right before we left saw the Louis bag was tripping and then literally on my way to checkout I walked by the shoe section super fast see this Tommy logo like at the very bottom of the shoes I'd already looked at the shoe section I think they might have even restocked these while I was at the store because like I swear I didn't see these the first time I looked at the shoe section I walked back through it and I see that Tommy logo and I'm just like Oh shit, we got some Tommy joints. Like, I'm peeping those, of course. I love my boy Tommy. Um, and then I picked the fucking shoes up, bro. And my mind, like, like legit, I was in shock when I actually saw the features on these shoes. So this does kind of look like a Vans, like Authentic Pro or Pro Authentic. It's got the little, like, rubber toes on it. And then you look at that fucking tongue. 
Oh my Christ, bro. The fat ass Tommy flag. Letting them know what the fuck's going on. If you guys know Tommy's shoes, they always have these weird little like buckles and shit, like uh, where the laces are. So that's kind of a cool feature. I do like these laces. They're very like original, I guess. These are it though. Like these are such like low key shoes. It's not too much of a flex. $10, bro. That's a come up and a half. Um, these Tommy shoes go for at least over 50 easily. I'm going to clean these up and probably rock them, but I'll probably sell them if they don't fit me. What an insane come up though. Like this was such a crazy way to end the day. Uh, they have the Tommies on the back, even on the bottoms everywhere. They got Tommy logos. Such a crazy day at the thrift. I'm so glad I recorded. Um, cause honestly, like there's days I go to the thrift and I find so much heat and I don't record cause I don't think I'm going to find any heat. And then there's days I go and I record everything and I find nothing. Thing. So going and recording and finding a ton of great stuff was awesome. I was so stoked. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash a like if you want more thrifting content and I got you guys. Like I'm really motivated now to go hit that fucking thrift store because uh, I found a lot of heat today. Usually I don't find that much heat at all. I had dudes messaging me on Instagram like, bro, like the thrift spot, you must be so crazy. I was just like, nah, um, I just got blessed today. It's been your boy Boone. I'm out. I hope you all enjoyed. It's really fun to make this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.